All right, let's talk about regatta payments in iCrew. First off, we're going to start at a team profile. So I'm going to create a regatta session under the Masters AM team. But taking a look at their profile, there's an important setting. Make sure this auto-generate regatta fee record is checked. So when you create any regatta record for this team, a fee item will be created for you. So that's all set. Let's show you the session that is defined for this regatta. So this is the All Masters team. It's the Quaker City Regatta. It's already created here, Quaker City Regatta. And let's just show the check-in page to so, show some people have already toggled in to indicate they want to race at this regatta. So we got a bunch of people toggled in. Now I told you a payment record or a fee record gets generated automatically for you. Let's take a look at that. So here on the coach's homepage, I'm going to go down to fees and payments. And in this drop down list, I'll find an all masters fee for the Quaker City Masters Regatta. Let's take a look at that. I have it set for $25. That's for a single race. But in this example, I'll show you how to set it up for different amounts um, based on the number of races people have. So we're going to set it up for up to three races. So 25 is the default. I'm going to check this box, multiple payment options. And I've already pasted in the PayPal button information here. If you want more information on PayPal integration with iCrew, this is the, the button to click right here on the fee record. This will open up a document that explains how to set all that up. So let's go over to PayPal from the buttons page. I'm going to view our save buttons. And here's the Quaker City Regatta. Let's take a look at how that's set up. So it's named Quaker City Regatta. I've got it set up for a drop down menu with choices, uh, different options. Let's look at those options. One race, two races, three races, 25, 45, and $60. So three options here. The rest of the information about this button you can read in the documentation, but we're all set for this payment item to show a drop down of three items, one race, two races, three races. So that's good. Now let's take a look at the member record. So for a regatta, as people toggle into the regatta to indicate they're going to attend, a payment record gets generated to track their payment. So let's view the records, and this will show uh, records for all the folks that have already toggled into the regatta. So a bunch of people. And to set the item amount to be accurate for the number of races they participate in, of course, you've got to set your lineups and know how many races each person is going to do. But let's say that uh, Carl Belser right here is going to race in three events. So you can just update his payment tracking item to be $60. So item amount 60 and the amount due is 60. And you save it. So you can do that for all the folks here. If they're racing in more than race one event, then just come in here and edit the amount they owe. Then when folks go into their own account in iCrew and they go to their My Payments tab, they are going to see a link to go into PayPal to pay for this regatta. And uh, they pick an item that maps to the number of races. So let me click here. I'll show you what that looks like here in this case for um, Carl. He's going to do three races. He clicks pay now and steps through the payment process. So hopefully that explains in more detail about how to do regatta payments in iCrew.